If we want to analyze a tongue whip approach within our simulation model, we have to change a property, which is the one we have under general. We have one for Kanban and zero for Kanban. If we press here, we introduce one, and it first to stop the, the model. If I press one, I am required to introduce the values corresponding to that, which is relevant, sorry, that's one, which is relevant for, for, the, for the Kanban system. And we have the possibility of introducing different numbers of, of Kanban for each station because they are owned by the station. On the contrary, if I type zero, I only have one value that I, that I have to introduce, which is the number of, of cars I'm going to use and will be shared among all the stations. In fact, if I run the model, I'll see I have this number of cars at the very beginning of the first station and the products that are produced are attached to that Kanban and they travel through the system till they get to this point. So I'm going to stop the model there and we'll see that when a customer arrives and withdraws this product here, we will see that the car which is attached to this product will travel back to the first station and that will represent a new production order. So I will Make it advance. Okay, that happened. It just stopped. I'll, I'll do it again. I'm going to fast forward. And okay, we have the customer arriving here. And we'll see how this product goes to this uh, element here. We'll see the customer retrieving the product and the car will be back at station one. I'll do that stepping on my mod model. And there we go. We have Kanban, which was attached to this product, that is back again in station one. So, it's uh, production of a new article starts because we assume we have infinite uh, raw material available for us to produce. So we do the same thing. We do an, anal an analysis of a 10 days warm up. We run the model for one year, and that goes down 10 days, and we get the very same results. So we can analyze what we get from for different values of this a uh, number of Kanban. So if, we, if you do that, you would expect something similar to what we theoretically obtained, which we would explore the, these values for Kanban. We can run the, the model for values around 4 and 5. And what we get is that the best outcome for us would be to use 5 Kanban in a, a Kanban approach. We have a, a benefit of 28.5 and we have a very good level of service, service, service level. Okay. So I leave up to you to do the full analysis and how different stations behave in different situations regarding different values of cars. But I hope this is a, a good inspiration for you to, to perform that task. See you.